So we're actually a fleet of three John Deere's. Here's number two. <laughs> and uh, my third one in here needs a little bit of love. So we're going to visit Leslie and uh, see if we can get his expertise in a couple of repairs. This is my garage. This is like stockyards tours, this is crib. <laughs> Welcome to my garage. Uh, so I was telling John a wee story earlier on, I'll, I'll, I'll tell it again. I was, I was mowing last year in the dry weather and I've, I've, uh, I must have had, for the last 10 years, been floating over this object in our lawn and the dry weather I must have just sort of pushed it up and up and up and one night it was just like bang and that was the result. Stone cold, killed the lawnmower dead. <laughs> Thought I'd done serious damage but uh, Thankfully that was aluminium and it still blades, there wasn't a mark on them. So the other night I was cutting the rushes with her to get them sprayed and something's happened with my pulley, the, the, I can't get the belt tensioned anymore so I think the tensioner has, has seized. We're taking the deck off here and taking it down to Leslie to see if we can get it freed up a bit. Time enough to get on this, they will open again. You don't need the knife. Here you go. Just your hands. Not bad. Just a woman. This eyes are here. This is your tensioner pulley, this one. And this is supposed to be on the spring and it's supposed to pivot. You can see the way it's like moving wherever I put it and it's staying there. It's not coming back around smoothly to, to tighten up that belt. I think that's what's wrong with it. The deck's heavier than it looks. Right, Gordon, you're Spring. That's what's supposed to pull that back around. So if you if you move that, it will move. See, we had that that, that that should nip my finger there right now, in there. So she's not coming back around to do the. She actually she's ripped. Flip. There's the rip. I'm about to break that off. Yeah. You have broke it off. What do you mean you're about to break it off? You have broke something. We'll have to stick that off. I don't want to see what's in there. Well, I'll break it off and get it done. No. No. Like on the boat first. Now, how did you know that was that size? Just practice years. Of, that's a 13. Which is a very common size. How many chickens have you now, Daddy? Squawking then? I have. You might have the size of 40 in there. 40 chickens? Mm -hmm. What are you doing with them? I'm not doing them with the early and the eggs, hopefully. Early what are you getting for the eggs? Oh no, that's a bad story. Your mummy seems to give most of them away. 
But thanks, thankfully can be stretched through any of We've broken a couple of stages there, I think. It wasn't the one hat. Huh? It wasn't the one hat. And well, I don't know, maybe. That's, that's fairly recent look on the It is, I've got my edges. Oh, well, that shouldn't have. That still shouldn't have gone for it. I'd say that's maybe a vibration, what you're saying. You know. Well, with time, over time, you'll cracks and then. Certainly, you're not strong enough to rip that. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't break it with my hands. Like I'm not saying I did. <laughs> that wasn't how it happened. These are the blades that took the bang. Whenever we hit the earth spike, I have blades that need sharpened. I need to go back on her. These are the mulching blades. Right, I'll go and look up at the John Deere. Get you the welder right there. Good plan. I haven't seen much work in one You see the gap? See like how far, like, it's that sort of gap between between your, uh, your blade and the top of your deck. It's just designed to throw the grass back up in here. It's a great theory in a sunny country, but in our country, it just means a bit of grass sticks to the top of her. <laughs> so it's like a constant battle trying to keep the lawn cut. But she's, uh, I bought her in 2006. She's a brave age now, like. And I can cut the lawn in 20 minutes, as hard as the lawnmower can go, so I'm happy. <laughs> she's a bit quieter too with them two blades, them blades on her. Them other ones that blow, she's just like. It's a bit like a JF picking off. I mean, the first, the first summer I had her, like, the neighbours are like. Ah, uh, we can tell when you're cutting the lawn, like. <laughs> We're really going to fish it now. Two of us on at the one thing. Now that should still be floating free, though. That's the wedge of the desk, <laughs> wedge the bed. Hold on now. Just, just it's coming, but just feel stiff, Daddy. Is there a washer or something missing the I think, I think there's uh, something like that on the lower half, uh, right. Now, let's see. There was a wee fine washer I had been sitting on top of it and it was worn away to nothing. Maybe if you get out of your stockpile. And we could locate a washer. Locate, locate something of the right. But a washer of the same dimensions. I like the filing system. Awesome filing system. This is like my desk at work. This is this is me in the future. So my desk at work, I know exactly where everything is, all the pages. You come in and look at my desk, it's just that mine. <laughs> Wait a minute, do you think, is there any chance that I hadn't a washer on at all that time? <laughs> that it was done beside it? <laughs> we'll, not, we'll not post that one, Daddy, don't worry. We'll not tell anyone about that. Ah, look at that. Ah, you're not as much slap on the eye. That is absolutely. Give it a lift up and down now. Ah, you're not taking any torture there, look. That's absolutely a ripper. Sound like a pro. I don't have enough attention in that, I think. To do your job, is there not? I was just case moving the spring over to the other hole if we for want more. What's your favourite tool you just after buying? Your latest purchase? The M2. Whichever it shows up between the M2. Probably this one here, of the greatest of all. This is? A Milwaukee. We call it rattle gun. Rattle gun? Yeah. It's some touch. Yeah. Some torque there, like. Oh, there's plenty of torque on it. Good that one. Yeah. You'll know that when you go to take them off. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't hide me, Grips. You can't have them. <laughs>
I can do a pair of grips, mine does beard. Do you need grips? No. <laughs> I don't really need them, though, but they're useful to have when you do need them. I don't need them right yet, right now. There's your wee set. Where do you file it? Where do you file this set on this drawer here? Ah, come on. Hey, my gift to you. That's my favourite son. <laughs> <laughs> There's a brand new pair of grips for all the way from Granville. Like five pound set from Granville. Hey, they're good. They're good. They're I'll not complain, Daddy. Beggars can't be choosers. Exactly. 